A lot of us get asked to host events, but you were asked to host an event for the Pope. Yes. Is that true? Yes, it is true. And and what it's and this is like what like an award show? <laughs> what was it? No, I mean, no, I'm curious. It was the, he was. It's the Festival of Family. So every year they have it in a major city, and this year it was in Philadelphia during his tour of the United States. And it was one of those things where it literally happened. Like, I was in church, a guy came to speak, and he started asking, "Are you a participant or you're a spectator? Do you really get involved in the community and the parish?" And I'm like, oh, wow, I guess I better start doing more. Yeah, that's one of those questions where you're, you know, you're supposed to say, I would probably say I'm a spectator. Leave me well, alone. Well, yeah, but... no, normally, you know, you put your hand in the pocket, but yeah. it, was, it wasn't that. And then all of a sudden, I'm standing, I'm, I'm praying, and a guy taps me on the shoulder and says, hey, would you be an usher? I'm like, no. And then I'm like, well, no, yes, of course I will be. I have to do more. Yeah. So I started doing the collection, and I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. And then literally the next week, guys came up to me and said they wanted me to host the Festival of Families with the Pope. And it was terrifying because I'm not good at like reading teleprompters. And right. you know, there's, they, they were honoring these amazing families from all over the world. Uh, and I didn't want to be like mispronouncing names and stuff like that. But also it's the Pope. So, uh, you know, for Catholics, it's a huge deal. Yeah. And did you get to meet him? Did you talk I to did. him? I did, I met the Holy Father and he had no idea who I was. He hasn't, it's like, <laughs> it's like you know, he hasn't been in movie theaters or watching TV, I think since the 70s. So, right. uh, so he but, probably wanted Eric Estrada to host it. Yeah, but, you know, <laughs> He was still, I love chips! <laughs> he, was still, he was still very polite, and I was surprised, because he kept asking me, you know, he just kept saying, pray for me. I'm like, you're in pretty good. Yeah. You're, 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 you're a lock, buddy. I mean, I need the prayers, but, uh, but it, was a special, it was a special experience. Were you kind of, in a way, relieved that he wasn't familiar with all of your work? There are a few movies that I am definitely hoping that God is the movie fan. You know, movies like Boogie Nights are gonna, there's gonna be some explaining there. Yeah. But, what but if, he, was, what if he was like, I love Boogie Nights? <laughs> that would have been bad. But yeah. there was this young boy who was singing. Mm -hmm. He was probably 11 or 12 years old, and he had this angelic voice. I mean, he was singing gospel, and he was absolutely amazing. And then all of a sudden, you know, he comes up, gets, uh, uh, gets an award from the father, and then he's walking by me, and I said, Wow, you have an amazing voice. He goes, I love Ted. <laughs> I said, you're too young to see Ted. And then I did, I did quickly apologize and I asked the father on stage to say a little prayer for me because I know I've made some movies that are probably questionable in the eyes of, of uh, the good Lord. Yeah, yeah. I think you just covered yourself well. That was good. Yes. <laughs>